Hi, my name is Soas from Origin and this is my basic champion guide to Nautilus in the top lane. The strength of Nautilus in solo queue is the same as any other tanks really, like he's stronger than Malphite in lane just because he's able to push with the E and W. The only difference is that he's not like so reliable in terms of engaging, like he has his R but people can run away a bit, so he's just like a super tank really that annoy a lot the front line with the E. His strength is basically that he's a good laner, you can push almost every matchup besides like ADs on top such as like Queen or something like this but at the point that you have Sunfire you're gonna you will win against most of the melees because you can out push them and then either roam or get a free base so against Poppy, Malphite and all these kind of champions you can just like push them really hard and get a free base and against range you're gonna get pushed in early but you can just like try to farm as much as you can, maybe use one TP, then you'll just like be really, really strong and he's overall uh, a really good tank and really good uh, laner as well. Or do you want to play your laning phase with Nautilus early on? You probably want to try to slow push your wave, so get your three first melees as fast as possible, so you can start slow pushing his wave. You don't necessarily to like use all your mana and stuff like this to, to get to the melees but try to get a slow push since you can out push everyone that is melee so i try to get the slow push going and then get your level 2 faster than him and then try to trade you can auto w into e for example to get really good trades try to get your undying going when you want to trade if you're if you have a good base and let's say you have your not sunfire but the the early part of it and you're pushing all the time your opponent you can try to set up like roam through your jungle and try to to gank middle from each side so every small stuff like this you can call your jungle to gank from lane because he's really strong in terms of uh, lane ganks due to his ultimate and hook uh, in terms of team fighting is gonna depends obviously a lot about your composition their composition but in a normal fight you probably wanna stand like between their tank and their backline to like slow their tank and slow their backline and then try to run to your team with like stunning their tank or something like this you can also like if you have a team that team come that can really hard engage you can just like press R on like their AP carry or AD and try to run at them. The good part about Nautilus is that he's really good at peeling, so yeah, you should probably play him with like an hyper carry or something like this and just peel for him instead of like going really hard on the back line. Um, he's also quite good at flanking because it's really hard to kill him and they have to deal with him, so if they cannot like pass the way that Nautilus, where Nautilus is, then it's gonna be really hard for them to team fight because they have to, you can proc like 2 E for example and everyone is gonna be like 60% HP so he's good at flanking, he's really good at peeling. If you have a good matchup with Nautilus against a melee it's pretty easy to get your TP priority over their top laner since you can like almost out trade every melee and out push them you can try to make them TP go back to lane and then just save your TP and try to make a play on bottom or even on middle if it's possible. So it's quite easy to get your TP advantage early on if you manipulate the, the waves quite well. For Nautilus runes, I will go for HP level yellows, attack speed reds, MR level blues or MR flat if you're playing as AP or on, on top lane and most likely armor flat queens or you can change it if you have a really good matchup you can maybe go AP or there's many variations. For Nautilus Masteries it's classic 0 to 18 for me. It's most likely in terms of melee matchup I prefer to go 0 to 18 and if I play against range I will probably go for 12 0 18 instead to get Oppressor and it's really about preferences. You can go 12-0-18 as well, depending of like matchup. If I play against a range, I will probably not go 0-12 and like because the bandit is kind of useless and same for dangerous game. And Oppressor is pretty, pretty good, honestly. Oh, Gra Grasp of the Undying is pretty strong into all the tank heroes that can auto like even though for example it's not the best for time cans because it's rare that you can actually auto people you most likely just kill them but for Nautilus, Malphite all the heroes that like 
have a gap closer kind of. It's really good because you can proc it multiple times. In terms of uh, matchup for top lane, it, it helps you a lot for, for trades. And when you have it and your enemy, your opponent doesn't have it, you really see the difference in terms of, in terms of trading on lane. In 99% of the case, you'll probably start uh, W, either against melee or range, then E to either like push or trade against melees, and then Q, so you have at level 3 you have points everywhere, and then you max E over W over Q, taking obviously R all the time that you can. Well, you, you max W over Q just because it makes you a lot more tankier, um, and also it deals like a bit more damage. If you have a matchup that can push each other and you'll trade a lot, you'll probably go for co-opting potions. Uh, if you know that you have a really good matchup, like let's say Nautilus into Poppy, which is quite good for the Nautilus, you can go for Doran Ring and push even more and RS even more with your uh, E. You're gonna try to rush Sunfire into Iceborne if you have a fine lane and you're not too far behind and the IP are not too fed. Then you're gonna probably go for the Spirit Visage, obviously getting Swiftness Boots in the between, pro most likely after Sunfire if you can. And then it really depends in terms of either the AP is fed or the AD. But since you have one armor, uh, two armor items, and one MR item, you can go for uh, a lot of HP. So if you're really fed, you can go for for Abyssal. But most likely, in in, in any other case, you'll just go tanky still. Thanks for watching this basic champion guide. Make sure to check out the rest of the guides over at logclass.com.